Hello, uh, this is Team Meat. Uh, so far, off to a bad start. <laughs> this is, uh, how do you start it? Uh, uh, I think it started. Okay, uh, I'm Edmund McMillan. And I am Tommy Rathenus. Uh If Tommy sounds like a robot, that's because he's actually North Carolina and I'm in California. Yes. And uh, this is uh, this is how you do things in the indie world. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're, today we're going to run through the basics of Super Meat Boy. Um, see, Tommy can't actually see what what I'm what what anybody else is seeing, so I don't know exactly what. You could put your camera on it. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, oh. Because I'm nude. <laughs> so, so am I. Well. Uh, so this is the forest. Uh, what we're looking at right now is the overworld map, which shows that there are a lot of chapters in this game. <clears throat> uh, the first one being the forest, which is what we will be showing today. The forest. Yeah. Everybody's seen this intro. I haven't uh, seen it yet. Oh, um, meh. You know. Some sort seems of... Like, seems like this game is just one huge ripoff of everything. Well, basically. Alright, so this is the the level map, which shows that there are 20 main levels. Um, you can start anywhere you want. Uh, you can skip levels, but you've got to beat 17 of these 20 levels to unlock the boss, and you've got to beat the boss to play the next chapter. Um, does that sound about correct, Tommy? Uh, it does sound accurate. That, so, that, that does seem like... It seems like a story like that has to be true. I don't see the point of lying at this... At this. Uh... I think we should lie a little bit. Alright. Well... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very hard when I don't know where you are. Well, I'm at level 1, Tommy, obviously. I, I, put, I am also at level 1. And uh, this is showing the player the basics of jumping, which is, um, would you call it an analog jump, Tommy? Would that be accurate? Um, to a point, it would be accurate, because if you just tap the jump, it automatically goes up one tile height, and that's it. But if you go above one tile height, then it is, then it would be not an analog, or then it would be an analog jump. Before, before, like, tapping is digital, not tapping is analog, I would say. Well, I just fell asleep. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it analog, and I'm going to say that there are three jumps that basically you can do. Like Tommy said, a tap, and then there's a press, which is you go higher, and then there's a press and hold, which you go even higher, and you get some major error. Um... So I'm going to complete level one. Uh, and of course, Dr. Fetus beats the hell out of Band-Aid Girl at the end. 100, 100 hand slap. That's what it was. Nice. I heard it. Yeah. Is what I <clears throat> nice, nice prediction. <laughs> I have to restart my computer, but that's okay. We can continue on. Okay, here we go. So second level showing the basics of, of wall jumping. And... Uh, one of the things that you can do in Meat Boy is jump up the same wall. And this is something that I've heard somebody say, that's not like Mega Man. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people have said stuff like that. That's the, hey, that's not like Mega Man. Um, yeah, no, see, you're, you're a superhero in this one, and uh, you're obviously not that super in Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man's an idiot. <clears throat> is his name Mega Man? Like, he's not really a man, he's... I mean, this is more accurate, because Meat Boy's a boy. Yeah, well, Mega, yeah, Mega Man's not a man. Like, I think if you were to take off his little shorts, you wouldn't see Mega Pubes. I'm pretty sure he's pretty, like, smooth down there, like a baby. Strangely, well, I, you don't see pubes on, on Meat Boy as well, and I and I don't know if necessarily it's because he's so young. Cause I, no, I, no, no. I, it's, it's the carpet matches the drapes. They're red. Yeah. They blend right in. Yeah, you can't. 
can't see it. I, I'm looking close right now, and I think I see something, but I don't know. Anyway, um, you can jump from wall to wall as well if you if that's your thing. Um, you can go straight up a wall, or what, whatever you want. But the instructions right here are actually telling us that if we run and then we jump and we hold the jump button, that will slide up the wall. And this is uh, something that's unique to Meat Boy, is the wall slide. Um, you get some major wall slidage. You can actually jump higher with the wall slide. Yeah. Than it's you can normally. Get some, get some height on there. Yeah. Alright, I'm on uh, level 3. Which is a uh, level that forces you to understand that when you run, you can jump further. Right? Makes uh, sense. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so this is, I mean, if you've played uh, Mario, you understand how this game plays. What's Mario? Um, I don't know. I just died. I just died on the first, on this third level. You mean Mario Tennis? Yeah, Mario Super Sluggers. Yeah. That um, was the first Mario game. Right now I'm jumping I'm jumping over the gap and then I'm showing how easily I can just pull back and come back to the to the, the starting point. Very that's nice. that's called controls, kids. Air controls. Look at that. You can go wherever you want. Oh maybe I don't want to go oh, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> maybe I oh maybe I'm gonna run that saw uh, uh, Either way, you jump you jump over the gap, <clears throat> and there she is. Oh, you know, I, I guess guess what it was. Guess uh, it was the jump up butt slam. Close. It was the spinning pile driver. Okay. All right. Level four introduces band aids as collectibles. So there are band aids that are going to be hidden in every in every chapter. Uh, there are twenty in each chapter. Um, and when you get them, you have to finish the level without dying, of course. You can't die in this level, but once you finish the level, you get the Band-Aid. And it goes into your Band-Aid collection, I guess. Yeah. This little... I don't know where he's carrying them, but he's carrying them somewhere safe. He's got a house. <laughs> he goes back to his place. Yeah, and that's what happens when that little saw comes up and it goes down. Yeah. Goes to his house, gets a gets a cocktail, takes a shower, and then gets back to it. Uh oh Tommy, I found something. Uh oh. It's a warp zone. What should I do? Uh probably avoid it. I didn't. Oh god. I got sucked into the warp zone. Uh Did this you? uh this warp zone um was done uh the the I should say the the intro art was done by Kyle Pulver. Yes. Who is an independent game developer. He's a he's a good independent <laughs> game developer. Um, he's got he's got hair. That's correct. He has a lot of hair, which I am envious of. I just got uh, the band aid, Tommy. I heard it. I heard the sound. Um, so, as you can see, uh, the the levels have become retro. In uh, their appearance and their sound, uh, all the sound effects are different. Meat Boy looks different, of course. Plays the same, controls the same, objectives the same. But uh, as you saw from that little screen, if I were to just fly off this little cliff here, I will lose a life. So suddenly, uh, retro rules apply, and just like you know old uh, NES games, you've got a live system. And if you die three times, uh, you're going back to start. So you got to be extra careful in these, and it's um, it's what you would call a juxtaposition uh, of, of designs. I didn't I didn't go to college, so what does that word mean? What it is is it's taking one example of, of game of how of how how the game would be designed, and uh -huh. it's putting it next to the other one and saying, look it, see how these are? They're similar, but they're different. Let's see how. So. You go through the main game, and you've got infinite lives, and you're carefree. There's not there's not that much stress. Now suddenly, uh, you've got this 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 hellish level craziness where you could die, and now you've got two more lives. I've died once on this. I've got two more lives. If I die two more times, 
all the band-aids that I've collected in this warp zone are gone. Um, I have to start all over again. Interesting. And, uh, <coughs> that is disheartening. But I finished it, and there is some sort of silhouetted dark boy that greeted me and told me that Bandage Girl was in another warp zone. Um, but I've unlocked the warp zone. I've actually okay. I've actually completed the warp zone at this point. I've collected both band-aids that were in the warp zone. Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to level 5, which as you can see on here it says it says that uh, my best time is none, but the par time is 11 seconds. So if I can beat this level in level s in, in 11 seconds, I'm going to get something special. So let's let's do that. Shall we? Let's do that. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to run this. Uh, pretty basic level. Hey, there's the warp zone. Now I finished it in under 11 seconds. And I got a grade A. Now if I go back to the map, you'll notice that level 5 is actually shiny and has an A plus on it. Um, and look at this. There's a little button, a little X button that says Dark World, and it's beeping and uh, emanating a, some sort of wondrous light of darkness. So I'm going to hit X. Dr. Fetus comes out, flips me off, and we go to the Dark World. And the Dark World is a parallel game uh, that is basically in expert mode. Uh, that's <laughs> I didn't go to college. What does parallel mean? <laughs> parallel means uh, side by side. Uh, they're they're played side by side uh, evenly, uh, ex exactly one on the other. So you've got light world, and then you've got dark world. Uh, light world you'd say is the main game, and dark world would be the expert mode. I, I didn't go to college. What does expert mean? Expert uh, would mean would mean it was it. It's an expert is when somebody's really good at something, like um, they've perfected it, and they've become so good that they are an expert at it. So if you've become an expert at Meat Boy Tommy, I'm ex I'm just talking to you at this point. You, yeah, you, we don't need you. You <laughs> nobody's yeah nobody cares. <laughs> you've you you've never heard of this game, so I gotta explain it to you. No, I'm I'm an idiot. So in the Dark World, we unlock level five, and uh, we've shown the level twice, so you probably remember what it looks like. No, this is what it looks like in the Dark World. Now suddenly there are of course a lot more hazards. There's saws everywhere. Um, so this level has become Hey, there's even a band-aid up here. Um, uh, let's see if I can get higher up here. See, this is this is another example. This is game design 101, kids. What I uh, what I talked about before about the wall slide and how you need to get extra air on the wall. This is actually required at this point. So you need to jump on this wall here, and then hold the button up there. I almost got to it. I need to get a little higher, and I got it. Now I need to complete this level with this band-aid. But you know what I'm going to do, Tony? What are you going to do? I'm going to die. That seems interesting. Yeah, what am I doing? Why am I dying? I don't know. Oh, I died again, Tommy. I keep dying. Why are you dying? It looks, what? What? It looks like I'm purposely dying at this point. I just keep throwing myself into all these saws. What level are you on again? Because I want to play it too. Oh, I'm on level 5 of the Dark World. Where we'll else, see. Where else can I die? Level okay, five. I've died. I've died like six times I think at this point and uh, now I'm going to finish the level to show that I'm not I'm no fool you're not a fool no and I finished it and what happens <laughs> oh my gosh it seems as though every single one of my lives is playing out before me why what yeah what a reward is what, what I see what do you what do you mean it's playing out I mean that the game has recorded every single one of my little little gameplay sessions as uh -huh. a hot and it's playing each of them um, simultaneously or, or simultaneously as, as some might say um, and uh, and I'm seeing every single death um, all before me all my mistakes that that sounds like the coolest fucking thing ever I'd say so huh that's interesting. Didn't That's you add something. this? Didn't you add this? I thought you added um, this. Um, I I do think I I think that was me actually. Well, this was a good idea, and I I, I uh 
I applaud you for adding this feature because it's pretty cool as a reward for a punishing level like this. Uh, I think it was nice of you to add this feature. I, I actually... You know uh, what? I like this I like this replay so much that I'm going to save it. That's interesting. Um, I did not do it to be nice. I wanted to make the player feel like shit. That's weird. Look how many times you failed, failure, is what I was trying to say with it. Well, uh, I've, again, I've, I've every, aced this level, though, Tommy. What's that? Uh, I got a grade A on that level, on that Dark World level. Interesting. All right, so uh, what we've shown here is the first five levels and a warp zone of Super Meat Boy, a game that we, we uh, basically killed ourselves to make. Yeah, pretty close to that. Well, I know I'm dead. Uh, I... That is the... See, this is... That's the Shyamalan spin at this. Um, yeah, we've been dead this entire time. <laughs> we've been dead the whole time talking. It's kind of creepy. If you yeah. go back... If you go back to the beginning of this video, you will see that there's actually no audio. It's just silence. Yeah, no one is talking throughout the entire video. That is... That is fucking creepy. If you go to uh, Henderson County and Santa Cruz County... Hall of Records, you'll see that our death certificates are dated 18 months ago. Weird. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but I don't know. That is that is our willpower, you see. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I hope you enjoy the fact that we've killed ourselves to bring this game to you guys. And I hope you yeah. like it. Because uh, we like making it. Uh, we like it so much that we... Uh, you know, worked uh, as dead people mm -hmm. to finish it, which is not something that many people do. I mean, even it's okay. It's something that one person's done, and we know who that person is. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. He, when Jesus was brought down to Earth, he was brought down to help the Mormons build houses because he was a carpenter, and to to help them build houses that Mormons aren't carpenters. They don't know anything about building. So Jesus came down and he, he, he worked himself to death to build houses for the Mormons. And that's, that's why we celebrate Independence Day. I went to Sunday school for 13 years. Not college though. No, college is, uh, I, yeah. You know, it's weird. Fun. You know, it's weird, Tommy. Huh. I went to Sunday college. That sounds like the best college ever. Yeah. I learned the Apostles' Creed. Is that like Assassin's Creed? Close. It's the longest prayer in uh, the Catholic religion. Is it really? Yeah. And I didn't learn it. And I didn't pass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's Super Meat Boy. Uh... It's coming out October 20th on Xbox Live. Um, and eventually we'll be doing more of these uh, videos explaining other aspects of the game, like unlockable characters, bosses, uh, possibly the Internet's feature, mm. uh, which is which has made some uh, some waves, some you could say. Some waves. Some ripples. Uh, some, yeah, it's gross. And some of the other features of the game, of course. Um we hope you enjoyed uh, this in-depth look into what really goes on in this game, and mm -hmm. uh, we hope you will buy it, please. That would be nice. I would appreciate it if you if you bought it. All right. So this is Adam McMillan and Tommy Refinis signing off. Till next have, time. Have a pleasant evening. Good morrow. <laughs> <laughs>